Hey, everyone. Thanks for coming out tonight. Uh, my name is Caleb McQuaid, and I'm going to be talking about the backend framework Encore. Um, so uh, apologies for the pun um, in the uh, beginning. Uh, I'm a software developer. I've been doing this for about six years now. Uh, if you find me in code, I'm more likely on the front end than the back end. So as I said, Encore is a back end framework. So uh, some caveats. I might say something wrong. I might say something that I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, so uh, I've been working in Encore for about a little over a year now. Um, has anyone ever worked with Encore before? Cool, awesome. Uh, so I run a small uh, web development agency called Purple Ren Digital. Uh, and I was reaching out to people in my network um, saying, hey, do you need software developers? And reached out to Mason Stewart and Kara Mansell, um, who work at the company bookshop.org. Um, and Mason said, yeah, uh, have you ever written any Go? And I said, no. He said, ah, that's all right, no worries. Well, you'll figure it out. Uh, and uh, as you'll see, Encore is a framework for Go and TypeScript currently. Those are the two languages that they support. So uh, as I said, it's a backend framework, currently supports Go and TypeScript. I believe Python is on the roadmap for them. Um, but I'm not sure about any others. The biggest uh, draws for Encore are their developer productivity. And um, their big draw is reducing boilerplate code and configuration. Um, the website to find their, uh, their information, Encore.dev. Um, and this team is really talented. They're not huge. Um, but they are very involved. If you have a question, you can go to their Discord channel and talk to the developers uh, directly in there. Um, their documentation is excellent. And frankly, their website is really nice. Back to the talk here. Oh. That's in the talk too, right? Uh, I believe so. I could be wrong. Cool. Well, I've lost the presentation. Um. Sign me up. All right, apologies. Uh, the big features. They do automatic infrastructure provisioning right out of the, right out of the box. Um, so again, front end person working on a back end system. Uh, that is super appealing to me. They support all of the, all of the big guns, so AWS, um, Google, and Azure. Um, and then they also provide just a free Postgres tier um, to get things up and running. They do everything from APIs, data, uh, databases, and background tasks, cron jobs, pub sub, et cetera. Uh, the big draw um, for me to the Encore experience is their annotation-based API uh, development. I'll show you that in just a bit. They do run off of microservices, so t take that for what it is. Um, another big thing, built-in observability. They have a local um, uh, observability platform that spins up that allows you a lot of insight. Um, and then they also have a cloud-based one for your whole team to be able to uh, dig in and um, do some good back-end development. So as I've said, reduce setup time is a big why um, for why you would want to get involved in Encore. Um, and then you can uh, 
have consistent developer workflow across different teams. You can have shared API requests um, with uh, saved headers and bodies. It's really nice. Um, so you get a lot of productivity gains um, and the integration with cloud systems is very nice. So um, you can run this directly off of Homebrew and then uh, it's two commands, Encore app create and then Encore run. So I have pulled down one of their example apps and I've set it up and hit Encore run. So it's running in my terminal down here. Um, I get a lot of nice information and it spins up all of these things right off the bat. So it spins up database clusters, your pub sub daemon, um, runs your database migrations, everything. And uh, if there's an issue, it will let you know. And then I get this really nice local platform. So the application that I have set up here is a booking application. Um, so think uh, Calendly or um, something similar. Uh, if you want to book time on somebody's calendar, that's essentially what this is. So uh, you can come in here and look at the API routes that are set up already. So slash booking, it's post request, and you can pass in a body, any HTTP headers, and if I go ahead and call this API, I get a response right there. So I don't have to go to my terminal. I can go to my terminal if I want to run this in here, but it gives you a really nice GUI framework right out the bat. Um, other elements about this, uh, I can search through all of the different API routes that I've set up, all of the services that I have um, available. And then I also get traces, so I can hop in here and see why things didn't work. And this is across all of the different environments um, that you set up with Encore. All right. As I said, the annotations. Um, so coming into Go, I am not a backend developer. I don't know Go. I am in the dark on how to set up some API routes, right? Well, Encore gives you a really nice setup where all you need to do is write in a comment of Encore colon API, and you can set up a API route. Whoops, apologies. That's what I'm trying to do. With a simple comment. Encore API, I can say that it requires authentication, the method, and then the path. And then the following function runs when you hit that API route. Pretty simple. And then uh, another big feature is type safety all the way from the database to the front end. Um, so if you set things up correctly, you can write uh, a SQL file um, or some, some SQL commands in a SQL file. Uh, with Go, you can run SQL C, and SQL C will generate a lot of the boilerplate code in Go directly from your database file. And then from there, once you get to the front end, you can run this command Encore Gen, and it will take the API routes that you have provided and generate a really nice <coughs> file inside of your front end that gives you the same types that you've declared in Go for your API routes so you can use them directly on your front end. So it saves a lot of developer time, allows developers to be a lot more productive. Databases, you can create these per service, and it Encore just spins up a Docker container that runs uh, Postgres for you locally. And then if you wanted to get into any of these databases, you can pull up your terminal and just run 
Encore DB shell and the name of the service. And then you're directly inside of a Postgres uh, environment right here. And you can get access to all of your local databases. Uh, you can even port into some production or other environment uh, databases directly from your terminal. So, you know, be careful. All right. Uh, I've showed a little bit of this so far. Um, the debugging features on Encore are really nice. You can see exactly what, what was sent over the wire um, and what errors you have directly in that GUI. Um, and then the other thing that I didn't show you was the flow of your application. So if you come to your, your, your GUI, you can see all of the services and how they connect together. So small uh, project, small flow here. Once we get into the larger project, this is bookshop.org currently. Um, so we are running uh, orders for millions and millions of books through bookshop.org, um, doing a lot of different things from off to uh, potentially some EPUB stuff. Uh, so this allows us insight into how everything works together. And it's really helpful. The only bummer about this, uh, the price. Um, it's $40 per seat for the paid tier. Um, and then $100 if you want to um, get that connected to any of the large infrastructure platforms. And that's per month. So it is uh, a bit heavy uh, once you, you know, start scaling your teams, but in my opinion, well worth it. Thanks for your time. Again, my name is Caleb McQuaid, and I run Purple Run Digital.